How often do you get a call from a client who's afraid of their tree? This large oak tree right here is leaning towards the house and the client is definitely afraid of it. She wanted me to give her a price to cut it down. And I said, why? Well, she pointed out the fact that the adjacent tree, if you look over here off the fence and down the creek, this was the sister tree. It fell down during the storms. So what I have to do as an arborist is really identify any potential hazards associated with the tree that's in question. I couldn't find any cracking. I couldn't find any lifting. I couldn't find any reason to justify that tree be removed. Fear is not a good enough reason. So I quantified it by saying that if the tree fell down, it wouldn't crash her on her house. and That made her feel better. So we're going to do a weight reduction instead. You know, as a professional arborist, you have the obligation to look at the trees and base all your opinions on what you find. The facts speak for themselves. If you find a weakness in a tree, then you can point that out. If you find cracks in the soil, if you find a good reason to justify the removal of a tree, then, you know, point it out to the client. But don't allow the client's fears to be the reason that you say, oh, okay, yeah, okay, I'll give you a price on cutting the tree down. Really judge the, the situation, look it all over. You know, in this particular case, I talked with her and the tree would not crash her house. You know, it might brush her house a little bit, but I showed her. I walked over and I said, what's the worst case scenario? And I said, if this tree falls, it'll end up right about here. And I showed her, showed her where the brush would hit. I said, now it might break your rain gutters, but nobody in the house is gonna be killed. You can sleep comfortably knowing that if this tree falls down, it's not going to go through your roof. And, and it, a lot of times it's just you know basic common sense, but fear is what caused her to call me. She saw the other tree go down, and in her mind, all the trees were dangerous. She lived there for 35 years and was never afraid of the tree until something happened. So make your decisions based upon the facts. Thanks for watching.